can be interesting to set an intention to stay present, to stay awake through the practice. That doesn't mean to say it will happen. It doesn't mean to say that it matters if it happens or it doesn't happen. And please remember above all that there is nothing you need to do, nothing you need to achieve, nowhere else you need to be right now. Squeeze in where you can. There's room for more. There's a spot just there. There's a spot in there. If you can see floor, there's usually space. Just there, look. There's one. <laughs> and if you are just arriving, don't worry, just take your time. And we're going to begin. You can come to rest when you're ready. As best you can and in any way that makes sense to you, allow your body to be held by the ground. Find that gentle release of your bones. Know that wherever you go and whatever you do, you are held by this earth. As it spins through space at thousands of miles an hour dancing through the void you are held so deeply that you can feel still here now and then in as much as you are held by that stillness as best you can in and in whatever way makes sense to you allow your breath to be as free as you can. Knowing that with each breath in, you breathe in that which is breathed out by other beings. Each breath is an effortless moment of connection, of relationship. And know also that everything that I give you, everything that I suggest, is just that, a suggestion, an invitation <coughs> for you to take or ignore. But if you'd like to, my first invitation is to begin a journey around your body. And why don't we begin right now in the mouth? Feeling the tongue in the mouth. The slip of saliva and the play of teeth and cheeks. Feeling the lips, whether they're together <coughs> or gently parted. Welcoming in these sensations from within you. Just becoming aware of the cheeks. Becoming aware of the sweep of the jawline. Of the eyes and their sockets and the eyelids also probably closed <coughs> or even gently parted.
the softness of the eyelids and the sweep of the eyebrows and the full sweep of the forehead and the temples. Perhaps you can be aware of the outer architecture of the ears. Even the inner sensations of the ears. Perhaps you can be aware of the hair on your scalp, all the way down to the nape of the neck, and the feeling of breath, again flowing in and out of the body. And you can expand that field, that awareness of sensation into the throat and out past the collarbones and the shoulder blades, the warmth of the armpits and the full length of the arms all the way out past the elbows to wrists. Maybe there's a distinct difference in sensation between the palms of the hands and the backs of the hands. Maybe you're aware not just of the fingers and the thumbs, but the spaces between them. Do the fingertips feel different? Do the fingernails feel different? And can you perhaps be aware of that field of sensation now all the way from the fingertips all the way up to the crown of the head? And then back to the throat and the flow of breath in and out of the throat and the rising and falling of collarbones and the rising and falling of the chest, the movement of ribs, the skin of the back and the full length of the spine. Down into the hips and the pelvis now. and the soft skin of the belly and all of those inner and external organs, soft. And expanding still further down into the legs, past the knees, into the ankles. And is there a difference in sensation between the soles of the feet and the tops of the feet? between right and left? Is it possible to be aware of each and every toe individually? And can you perhaps feel the whole body as one radiant field of sensation and presence and awareness? Gently moving, even in stillness, rising and falling, opening and closing, expanding and contracting. Rising and falling, opening and closing, expanding and contracting. Rising and falling. Opening and closing, expanding and contracting.
And is there a place, is there a way that you can be that is a place of balance, a place that is all of those things at the same time? And you can let that go whenever it falls, whenever it slides. And my invitation to you is to imagine yourself, if you'd like to, moving out of this space, walking out of this space. Into a deeply mist-filled dawn. where the sun's rays flash through the fog and you can see little glimmers of light but everything has that softness that veiled aspect in distinct shapes of structures and trees and plants and people around you. And far in the distance, perhaps you can hear the sound of music. And it's not quite within hearing. It's almost as, almost as if a different part of you is hearing it. It's a non-physical sound, the unstruck chord. But it's there all the same. And as you walk, your way it twists and winds and curls and bends and that sound that chord that music rises and falls and gets louder and quieter but little by little you find yourself getting closer and closer and closer and in the center of that sound is a deep slow drumbeat a heart beat drum And maybe you start to feel yourself moving in rhythm with that drum. Step by step. Breath by breath. Heartbeat by heartbeat. Step by step. Breath by breath, heart beat by heart beat. And it is as if every other sound you can hear is harmonizing, is becoming part of that music. And that music of the land itself. Every child that giggles or cries. 
every tinkling note on a piano in tune or out <coughs> every gentle snore every chatter <coughs> and the sound of the rain all in gentle harmony with that heart beat drum so that the land itself the camp itself becomes one big symphony in which everything and everyone has its place has its moment has its sound has its movement slipping into harmony slipping back out slipping into harmony slipping back out slipping in to harmony slipping back out My invitation to you now is to just to start ever so slightly to become more aware once more of this space, of this beautiful temple, of the physical sound of the rain, sounds in the distance. being held by the ground underneath you, breathed by the air around you. Become aware, if you can, even without moving, of the people around you and the space around you and where you are. Orient yourself here. And there's no rush. there's no hurry for once we're running a few minutes early when you're ready to you can start to invite the breath to deepen and as your breath starts to deepen you can if you'd like to begin to stretch and wriggle into the edges of the body, the fingers and the toes. And it might be nice to turn your head from one side to the other. It might be nice to lengthen through one side of the body and the other.
might be nice to pandiculate. Which is a very cool world. And the way you would do that is in some way squeeze yourself in. You don't even have to move too far. You just kind of have that gentle tension through the muscles and then in some way stretch back out through that tension. And the most importantly, in some way release the weight of your body back to the ground. So it's a squeeze, a stretch, and a release. It's what you do when you wake up anyway. It's what the animals around you do 40 to 50 times a day. And there is no right way to do it. There is no one way to do it. And you can choose to stay right here. Or you can choose to come back up. Or you can sit up, take a look around, change your mind, go back down again. It's all entirely up to you. And this practice of yoga nidra has now ended.